Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. Last night I was on a phone call with my Stampin' Up! team and we were asked to share an organizational tip. And I shared how I store my Stampin' Up! dies. So I would like to make a short video about how I do that and share these tips with you. Tips and tricks for storing your Stampin' Up! dies. So here's a magnetic sheet. You can get these using the link on my blog post which I'll post in this video. You can get them from Amazon or craft stores, and they're made by Artbin. So I take these sheets and I put the die set onto them, and then what I do is I draw around the dies. This is great because it lets me know which die I've removed and which die to put back so I know that it's missing. The other trick is that I label the, the name of the die set, so that way if I'm making a video tutorial I can refer to using the right terminology. Okay, I'm just gonna go through and just show you some others. Here's the coffee cup die set. Again, I'm tracing it. Lots of labels. Now, when I have nested labels, I don't trace them all. There's no need. I just trace the outer label. Okay, here is the seasonal layers. Now, what I do is when I have a lot of dies that go with a set, I take the smaller dies and I try to put them toward the middle and they're less likely to fall off the page. Okay, so there's how I stir the seasonal layers. When I have a set with just a few dies, I can go ahead and outline it with a Sharpie marker. But usually the Sharpie would take up a lot of room, so I usually outline the dies with a pen. Okay, sometimes I don't even need the name of the die, so this is, this is the Star Blast on this side, and the wood crate, including including these are wood crate. But I don't need the name of the happy birthday die because it's the only die in the set, it speaks for itself. It says happy birthday. Fits right in there good with these other sets. As you can see, I have lots of retired items. I have lots of current items. This is the everyday jars, very versatile set. Now I originally had this stored on the same sheet as this, as, as the tags and labels. Now that worked, but it, it got really crowded and I was, I was having a hard time using them. So I just decided, because these magnetic sheets do not cost too much money, they're an add-on item when you get on your Amazon cart, and I just decided to give the jars their own sheet. Okay? Now, I, I, I said I outline them to let them know that, to let me know if something's missing. And last Christmas, I lost this little holly die out of my Pretty Pine set. Okay, so that's what happened. That's why it is missing. But I know that this Christmas, when I take out my stash, I will find that piece of holly because it's been bothering me ever since. Here's the stitch framelits, and I just outlined, again, the outer ones. And th these are stitch, I mean, stip stitch shapes and layering circles. I use these all the time for so many projects. That's why I just put them on their own sheet. I will pull this out and lay it next to me and work with it. Okay. The Build It Framelits, as you can see, they fit They fit really well with the Project Life, this is the retired set, Project Life set on the same sheet. So this little saw is going inside this frame here. And when I didn't have enough room to outline the outer part of the die, I just outlined the inner part of the die. Okay, and then I have my Kirby keepsake before I started making the labels the other way. This is probably one of the first ones that I did this with. That's why you have upside down labels. Okay, now why is this important? Well, because the way when you purchase dies, this one I haven't organized yet, like the build up like framelits. This is how they come from Stampin' Up. They just come on a sheet with tape and you know, peel them off, the tape is super strong. But can you imagine trying to peel these off and put them back on the sheet every time? No way. <laughs> okay. Now that, that particular Build-A-Bike set goes with this stamp set. Okay, so I have another trick and it's from a friend, an online friend of mine named Jennifer. She's 
She has a website, creativelyhomemade.com. Now, she was having a sale on retired items. I think this is brilliant. I bought some things off her, and she sent them to me. And I just love the way she stores her dies. So, I bought this stamp set. Let's see the name of it. Okay, Halloween treat. Okay, and the coordinating die is called Boo to You. And she just stores them. She stores the dies for the magnetic sheets in the same stamp case as the stamp set. So I think that's another great tip that I wanted to share. I'm going to be linking to her website on my blog, creativelyhomemade.com. She has a lot of great projects on her blog. Okay, so that's when I saw this idea of putting the magnetic sheet in with the stamps, I thought which sets would be really good for that. And when you when you have dies which you really don't need any other reason for, you just like this build a bike bike ride die and build a bike framelits. This is a perfect example of something that I will use one of these magnetic sheets for and put the put the dies right inside this the stamp case. Okay, because you have them right where you need them and that's like I said, there's going to be no other reason to use these dies except for maybe the circle. All all the rest of these dies are going to just go with this bike set. Okay, finally, you have all these dies and then how do you store the whole thing? Every one of my sheets I just showed you fits nicely into this art bin storage case. Okay, you can get this, I'll link to my blog, on my blog to the Amazon store, but you can also get it at craft shops and use a coupon. Okay, and this, so all of my dies fit nicely in this case. I labeled it Stampin' Up! because I also have dies from other brands. And I just show you, they just fit nicely in there in the case okay so that's my tip for organization of your dies please like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye